Hi there, everyone. Today, the bookworms are going to be reading Franklin's Secret Club by Paula Bourgeois and Brenda Clark. Let's get into the book. Franklin could count by twos and tie his shoes. He liked to play on teams and join in games. Franklin belonged to the school choir and the arts and crafts club. He liked belonging, and that's why Franklin decided to start his own club. One day, Franklin discovered a hideaway near his house. It was the perfect place for a club. We can have a secret password and a secret handshake, Franklin told Bear. And secret snacks, asked Bear hopefully. With secret ingredients, Franklin laughed. The hideaway was very snug. It was too small for a big club. I know, said Franklin. Snail and Rabbit will fit. Let's ask them to join. Together, Snail, Rabbit, Franklin, and Bear fixed up the clubhouse. They called themselves the Secret Club. The club members met every day after school. They ate blueberry muffins and made tin can telephones. They made macaroni bracelets and gave them to one another. Franklin was so busy doing secret things with the other club members that he almost forgot about the rest of his friends. At school, everyone was being very nice to Franklin, especially Beaver. She saved Franklin a seat on the bus for three days in a row. She offered him the best part of her lunch. She even helped Franklin tidy up after art. Thank you, Beaver, said Franklin. Beaver smiled. Now can I join your club? Franklin was surprised. He didn't know that others wanted to join his club. Sorry, Beaver, said Franklin, but we can't fit anyone else in the clubhouse. That's not a good reason, muttered Beaver, and it's not fair. I'm going to start my own club. But, Franklin began, as Beaver left in a huff. After school, Franklin's club had a treasure hunt. Franklin didn't find a thing. He was upset because Beaver had been so angry. I told Beaver there just isn't room for more members, Franklin explained to Snail, Bear, and Rabbit. They nodded sadly. The next day, Franklin and Bear did their secret handshake, two slaps and a tickle, and whispered the password, Blueberries. Bear flapped his arms, wiggled his fingers, wrinkled his nose, and said, Fizzle, fazzle, diddle, daddle, ding, dong, bop. What was that? asked Franklin. The handshake and the password for Beaver's Adventure Club. Fox showed me. Oh, said Franklin. The secret club members kept busy playing. Franklin had fun, but he'd heard that Beaver's Club was even more fun. Today the adventurers are digging for dinosaurs, said Snail. The Adventure Club sure is amazing, sighed Bear. Sure is, said Franklin. Franklin tried hard to think of secret things that were more exciting. The secret club members learned to write invisible letters with lemon juice, and one day they made a secret code. But that very same day, the adventurers planned a trip to the moon. Soon after, Franklin and his club members went to see Beaver's adventure headquarters. There was a treehouse to climb up to, a tire to swing from, a tent to play in, and a big sign that said, Members Only. Franklin itched to join the Adventure Club. Now I know how Beaver felt, he said sadly, left out. Suddenly, Franklin had an idea. Let's invite all the adventurers to join our club so nobody feels left out, he announced. But there's not enough room for everyone, said Bear. We can always meet outside, said Franklin. Then there'll be plenty of room. So Franklin invited Beaver to meet with him. I'm sorry I left you out, said Franklin. Beaver accepted the apology. I'm sorry that I left you out too. The Adventure Club is a good club, said Franklin. So is the Secret Club. But if we join together, we could have the best club. Beaver agreed, and the two clubs became one. Everybody was excited. Beaver's club members wanted to learn secret things. Franklin's club members were ready to explore. 
The new club was called the Secret Adventure Club. Its password was Fizzle Fazzle, Diddle Daddle, Ding Dong Blue Berry Bop. When the members greeted one another, they flapped their arms and wiggled their fingers, wrinkled their noses, and did two slaps and a tickle. Beaver made a sign for their club headquarters. It said, "Secret Adventure Club." Franklin made another sign. It said, "Everyone welcome." He didn't want anybody to feel left out. The end. That's it for today, everyone. I hope you guys enjoyed. For more read-alongs like these, don't forget to subscribe. If you enjoyed the book, give it a big thumbs up and share it with a friend. Don't forget to join us every day for a new book. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.